Hey. Okay, uh, to answer your question about the NTSC and HD thing, shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> so I say. Um, here's here's the deal. Um, whoa, Echo. I just put together a quick comp that uh, it's got, you know, built at NTSC dimensions. So if you understand, NTSC is old and the dimensions pixel-wise are quite small. The saving grace is that you've done it in widescreen because that's going to be pretty much proportional to what an HD uh, aspect ratio is going to be. So first thing I would test to see if you're happy with the results um, is to make a new composition that is at the HDTV 1080 uh, settings. Now the square pixel factor is what we want, but your NTSC was built with 4.3 uh, uh, pixel aspect ratio, which is a little squished um, because of the way that TV tube TVs and the way that they distribute that information uh, have worked out. So, um, call that HD. So now I have this empty comp. Come here, you. And I'm just going to drag the NTSC finished animation into the HD comp. Well, look how small it is compared to HD. It also got stretched. That's the deal between the 4-3 aspect ratio of an NTSC uh, project and then the square pixels that it we're used to working with now. So if you just were to scale that up, um, you know, roughly, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be a little bit wider than it is tall in order to get the top and bottom to fill. So I, I scaled it up 226%. Now that seems to be okay you can see that the square used to be a square now it's a little bit more of a rectangle the text is a little bit wider but everything will, will work the last thing you want to do is you want to click this little um this button that is called continual rasterization or collapse transformations and that just makes sure that it renders anything that is vector based data so my text my shapes um, shape layers things like that will be re-rendered and crisp and clean. If you didn't do that, they're gonna be a little bit fuzzy around the edges. That being said, if you have video or uh, Photoshop files, um, they're gonna get a little bit a little bit fuzzy. Um, and this is at 50%, so if I went to 100%, I don't know if you can tell on your end, but I can see it as I toggle on and off how it gets a little soft on the edges and then nice and crisp. That's just because it's text that I made in After Effects and a shape layer I made in After Effects. So they're they're native, so they like to work. If you have Illustrator files, um, you just need to go back into the original NTSC uh, project and anything that's an Illustrator file, you need to click that continual rasterization button here in order for it to know that they are uh, vector um, files and that they need to where the math the, the math needs to happen then when you go back to your hd they should all crisp up too um, the only other thing would be to take your ntsc project and this is where shit gets kind of ugh, shitty because <laughs> um, you could change your composition settings to the hd tv bam and and this is what you end up getting is your work is that small. So you'd have to find a way to scale everything up. And the easiest way to do that would be to use a null object. And you throw a null object in there. And you parent all layers to that null object. And you take that null object. And you scale it up. What did I say? 226, I think is what I said. So now I've just... Everything that was parented to that null just scaled up 226% without having to use any keyframes, without screwing up any keyframing animation that I might have done. And, and now everything's bigger um, inside that project. So that's what I would do um, if I were you. And uh, from here on out, just make sure that NTSC is just like a, a relic, like I said in that email. Don't... don't uh, don't use it anymore. I need to go back and fix all that stuff. There's just so many little things inside of paths and whatnot. And I'm, uh, you could probably say I'm a little lazy on that stuff too.
but I hope that helped. All right, good luck.